we've connected now to the zone director and we have a warning and the reason for the warning is because we don't have a secure certificate installed and that's natural so uh, we shouldn't expect to see one here at this point so we'll click advanced and we will then proceed to the setup wizard our first choice is to select the language of the interface default is English but there's a number of different languages that you can choose from so select one that suits you best and then the next step is to give the system a unique name uh, it can be up to 20 characters must be letters and numbers so I shall call this one uh, ruckus R A Z D A 200 country code United States well this will affect the behavior of the access points because this is going to set the country code that you'll be operating in so you should set set this to the country that you're in in this case I'll select United States and I'm not going to select mesh here at this point there are very good reasons for not enabling the mesh until you actually need it and we'll cover that in the mesh module so leave enable mesh blank for now well the IP setting can take IP4, IP6 or a mixture of both in this case we'll stick with IP4 and I have my address of 192.168.1246 what I'd like to do is to set that to be uh, an IP address that I recognize and I know I'll find the zone director on that address or so set that to a fixed address. Uh, it won't change that until a little bit further into the wizard. Now I don't want to set up an SSID at this point. You can do this but I always like to have control over the access points and the SSIDs so I think it's a, a good step at this point not to do it but if you're fairly confident you can enable this step here and you'll be able to put up an SSID immediately for any access points that you're going to have connected standard admin name and password well of course you need to make sure that you carefully note this because it can't be recovered if you lose it I don't want to create another user account at this point again we'll look at user accounts later but right now I'd just like to stay with the admin account so we leave it at that and then we get a confirmation and a summary next we have the service terms which we need to accept and then finish now I can connect back to the zone director on the address here and here we are now this is the zone director so I shall put in the credentials and here we have the nice new uh, zone director interface running code 10 big change from what we had previously we've got a summary here on the left showing us what the code is that we're running and there's a lot of new features to take in so in the next session I'll run through the GUI interface with you